Parental discretion is advised. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Wrestling Mayhem Show, one of your VD edition on Valentine's Day <laughs> here in Pittsburgh, PA. I am Sorgatron. That hyena on the couch is. You called it the, the VD. Shotty. You called it the VD edition. Yes. We all have VD. It's a Valentine's Day edition. V- it's a VD edition. Venereal disease. Valentine's Day. <laughs> Venereal disease. Who actually uses it for that? Honey. Oh well. Anyways, there's Chachi. Uh, I'm on the couch. He's on the couch. I don't have a title for you. Of uh, ChachiPlays.net. Chachi. No, ChachiPlays.com. Chachi yes. says dot net. Yes. Just live off of that. How you doing? I am fantastic. How are you holding up? I am fantastic. I I slept for 13 hours. I was back to normal. Tremendous. Woke Tremendous. up the next morning. I went to work. Bam. Well, no. The next morning, I was. It was Sunday. So I, I woke up at like noon. You don't even know your days anymore. I know. Also joining us is DJ Lunchbox, who also did join us at Chachi Plays and might have a little bit of a feature in Unsung this week. Oh, hey. Hi, Willie. Hey, what's up? What's up, hot dog? Um, I, if you look behind me, oh, over on this side. Uh, there there it is. Uh, there is the uh, my second place Chachi Plays tournament, uh, Tetris tournament. It's back there. Um, I won second place. That was great. Chachi plays absolutely fantastic, and and uh, uh, that was a great event. It's absolutely fantastic. But uh, now that uh, now that that is passed, I would like to take a moment and talk to you about MonsterHaiku.org, the newest uh, charity thing that's going to be pushed here on uh, here on the Wrestling Mayhem Show by me, DJ Lunchbox. You know, Go. Oh. we're awful, awfully violent on this show, but we make up for it. With our, uh, what? Charity endeavors. Yeah, no, I, I'm... Don't worry about it. Okay. Um, monsters? Monsters can still be kind of vicious. Yeah. Monsters can be vicious, but these these monsters are for the kids. They're, they're, are they? They're adorable. Have you seen them? They're adorable. They, they are adorable, but I've, I've heard that some have been pulled because of adult content. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> it's true, but the kids will never see those. Nope. Or take Right there, um, joining us on the couch for what the you're playing Sega <laughs> is his wife of the show, Missy. Hi guys. Hello, and also joining us is the Riz, who also Wiz joined the us. Wiz the Riz. Wiz. Oh. <laughs> Wiz. But I do have to congratulate Chachi not only on a successful Chachi plays, but also he is going to WrestleMania. I am. Husky Harris. With Husky Harris. <laughs> <laughs> Husky Harris is going to WrestleMania. <laughs> but I did win the Cruiserweight Championship in the Cruiserweight Championship Scramble. You did. Yeah. That was a horrible. Because nobody knew what the hell was going yeah, on. Yeah, that was a horrible, horrible match. It's a scramble. And you never know what's going on in Scramble. No. It was bad. Well, you guys can still see me, oh, right? Oh, sorry. There you are. Sorry. Hey. Had you on LB by accident. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Oh, are, are you are you okay? Then? Okay. All right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, and also with us from Corpus Christi, no, San Antonio, Texas, is the wrestle Up with mayhem. Down with Chachi. I can't. Up with you know. We can't. You know we can't read that, right? Hey, um, I tried to highlight the up part. That's okay. Can you uh, mute him? He's pissing me. You know off. what? No, no, no. <laughs> it's all. We'll explain why I'm boycotting Chachi this week. Okay. Hey, you just it's mute all, him. Get it over with and mute him. By the dictatorship that is the Chachi Mayhem Show. Mute him. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> it got quiet all of a sudden how about that anyways this is the wrestling mayhem show where we talk about wrestling we touch talk about mayhem and, and before have, you get back and, on make your damn bed it's you made go. there you go there you it go is made. uh but you can uh chime in on this stuff no that's chachi okay hey. wrestling mayhem show.com tweet us at mayhem show check us out on facebook we have an open group on there that's always hopping it's we're open. also on google plus where we do a lot of hangouts on monday night and some other times for the wrestling shows and you can also drop us a line at good times, good times at wrestling mayhem show.com or <laughs> drop a line to 412206 wms0 that's 9670 
9670! That's right. And you can also check us out on your iPhone, on your iPad, on your Android device, your Kindle Fire, you even. Just, with you can the, just press right here. What? What? On the Wrestling what? Mayhem Show Gold app, <laughs> where we have a lot of what? bonus footage. I don't know what's happening right now. Uh, the, uh, so I, go look that up. Good. It's $1.99, and uh, yeah. you get access to look at it. every okay. week. And easy contacts with everybody else. So uh, let's start the show off like we usually do with the fan mail. We don't have very much this week. We got week. some fan mail. I said very much. We got much fan mail. Sure we do. Sure we do. I believe uh, this first one, DJ LB, yes, sir. Is, is meant to read. Yes. Hold on. Bring it up. <laughs> Doing that thing. Doing um, that thing. Prepare uh, your voice. Uh. Dude. Jesus, creeping along here. Oh, hey, is this? Wait, which one are we talking about here? Um, there was one for you. Oh, for me. Yes. Uh, one from Shane Amazing. Uh, no, 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 no. AJ, the conspiracy logic failure. Uh, oh yes, yes, that was a ways back. Let me take a gander here. It's in the notes. Phil. 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 Well, we can read Phil. this one Phil. from Phil. Shane Amazing. That holy crap. <laughs> Actually, I think this is an LB thing as well. <laughs> wow, we have a lot of them oh, for LB. Isn't that the wolf? Yes, it is the wolf. Yes, he, uh, he, we can't read that uh, one. And uh, Sonic Screwjob sent All me... Right, I'm good. Sonic Screwjob sent me this. Lots of code, oh, no. it looks like. Lots of what? <laughs> looks like a lot of code. I don't okay, know. I think you said something else there for this. Hey. It's called Graphics Do Over, and it's nothing? He was... Uh, trying to hack the gibson apparently and that's what he came up with are we ready i'm ready yeah you're ready go for it conspiracy logic failure it says at the beginning of this lunchbox must read this wrestle fan must be muted done <laughs> oh yes aj <laughs> it is from aj aka bo diggity dear wrestle fan <laughs> Let me help you fix your conspiracy logic with regards to the rumble pool. You feel it was rigged. Are you fucking retarded? In order for it to be rigged, I would have to know the order of the rumble prior to the match. Riz <laughs> sent you your numbers at the beginning of the event. The numbers came out of a random sequence generator that were loaded on Friday. Your picks were purely and hilariously bad luck. You provided all kinds of entertainment for us at BW3. So take that as your consolation prize. If you still think it's rigged, fuck what you say. <laughs> it's all all you guys it's all conspiracy i see it i see the, uh, the mute, mute him and the silencing of mute the... him <laughs> mute he's hammer he's still talking yeah he's still going <laughs> I, I will be looking into this <laughs> hold on we just keep checking in on him looking into this i'm probably <laughs> muted <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. That's amazing. There's a second one by AJ here. Let's see uh, what, oh, what that so brings exciting. us. Uh, streams, he says. Uh, going back two weeks because the time stream continuum is confounding me right now to the point about uh, BW3 dropping WWE pay-per-views. I refer you back to the point I made on a previous WMS to update the point. If the WWE is going to jack up rates on the restaurants showing pay-per-views, then they need to take into consideration the number of people who can't get pay-per-views. My brother can't get pay-per-views because his cable provider doesn't have it. In order to get pay-per-views in his area, you have to have a satellite TV. If WWE wants to increase buy rates and keep people from pirating pay-per-views, they need to make their online option more attractive. First, improve, excuse me, improve the online player. Have it show HD video and show it in full screen. Price it at half the price of the TV version. There's no satellite or cable provider adding fees on top of the on top to jack up the price. Watch the money roll in. Upgrade the player regardless, but give that a shot with extreme rolls or over the limit. Show superstars NXT on it, even Raw and SmackDown if their content deals allow it. Advertise the new player on TV and advertise it as an option to see the pay-per-view. Elimination Chamber live Sunday on pay-per-view on WWE.com. See what the kind of money buy rates you get. I'd pay no problem. Uh, the WWE has been doing a great job of promoting... Nice plug. What? What? 
Oh. Said nice plug. <laughs> right. WWE has been uh, doing a uh, great job of promoting WWE.com on TV and running some of the exclusive videos and using it to further storylines like the Johnny Ace decision. Make it in a place to watch pay-per-views too. Have a Twitter feed of the hashtag for the pay-per-view next to the video. Please let me turn that off though cut out the middleman of the cable and satellite providers and have that cash come straight to you also wms 291 we're on 308 dude i called that if you, i called what would happen if the tna had an alberto del rio character it sort of happened with ricardo rodriguez at rumble go back and listen i'm not sure what he's talking about at that point how, how basically how tna would have a poor man's uh Alberto Del Rio that would drive in on some beat up car. Yeah. So yeah, okay. yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, and all the streams and the and the th- I wouldn't even consider getting the pay per views. Like I said, the player stinks. Uh, the, the apparently it doesn't even go full screen. I didn't even know about that. Why are you going to pay the same price for that? And why isn't WWE putting this over? Because is it more money in their pockets if they can go like, like you said, cut out the middleman with the pay per view companies? Right. I mean, even if you make it at the same price, you're getting more of that money, right? Or is it just they, they don't have the technical know-how to do it or somebody's not investing in it? I don't, it it's ridiculous for them to not to with all the other stuff they're dealing with on putting their shows online. Or is this one of those let's do it with stuff that people isn't paying for like uh, NXT? Because, I mean, is it even – do they even say in the commercials you can get it online? Like you have to dig for that stuff at this Yeah, point. I, I, I <laughs> think so. It's, I don't know. I just feel like it's you know them sort of shooting themselves in the foot here. You know, it's – it doesn't I don't I don't see why how how the mindset is going to draw more pay per view buys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I it's it's I don't know. They they they're not pressured by anything, so they don't have to. Sorry. That that's it. They're still making the money, but they're they're their buy rates are obviously going down. But it's not enough for them to want to make a move on anything. I guess at that point. So uh, right. Thanks yeah. thanks AJ for that. Um, Let's see, uh, LB, you want to do this uh, shit amazing? Yes, yes, I do. All right. <laughs> the title is Wrestling Mayhem's. What it is, WMS crew? It's been a while since I've been off on Tuesdays, so now's the time to get my opinion over to the best fucking show on the earth, the Wrestling Mayhem. Hold on, man. We're not, uh, you're here. <laughs> Your feed's a little wonky here. Yeah, I can, I can hear myself really good. Okay, we'll work on that. All right, let's 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 toss to a different email then. Um, <laughs> Chachi, can you read one over here? Is there one? I think there's a apo- heartfelt apology from Tom Bobbitt. So oh, yes, a, there is. From Sonic Screwjob. So go ahead and do that. I miss my weekly dosage of wrestling goodness, so I can only wish you guys the best with the show. I'll try to do better next week so I won't get traded for a box of spiders. Sonic Screwdrop. P.S. I hope Kofi loses his mind after his loss in the chamber and R-Truth takes him under his wing to show him how to make the insanity work for him. That's it. That's all? Yep. That's all? That's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. All right, let's see how LB's doing. LB, are you back there? I'm back here. I'm right here, my friend. All right, let's go ahead and do your thing then. All right. <clears throat> what it is, WMS crew. It's been a while since I've been off on a Tuesday, so now's the time to get my opinion over to the best fucking show on earth, the Wrestling Mayhem Show. While I was watching Raw, I got the sudden itch of the Wrestling Mayhem swag. And here we are, bitches. I want to shout out to my ninjas, Chachi, Sorg, Riz, Wheels, Mad Mike, and LB the RN. RN regular nigga lmao and if you don't like it fuck what you say <laughs> wait when, pause. did he forget someone he did go on <laughs> oh, <laughs> go on oh my all right uh when i complain about the staleness of the new generation of wwe superstars this is what i mean hunter and his pal sean had a very meaningful spat it portrayed a wide range of emotions, and bottom line, it was needed. When it was... Sorry. <laughs> when was the last time two adults got in the ring and had a real grown-ass man moment? Cena has proven his acting <laughs> skills are under par. Dolph is a walking punchline. And Randy can't portray anything other than, other than anger. <laughs> 
I hear Angry Birds. Tom. Sorry, I was accepting a request on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> the last time there was a grown ass moment, Triple H and CM Punk were feuding. That goes back to my main point. Wrestling at its basic form entails wrestling. But that's the tip of the iceberg. The most important part of pro wrestling is the Sorry, I had a stroke. The most important part of pro wrestling is the story and the fans' ability to either emphasize and or relate to what's going on. Austin was a success story, not because he was a good wrestler, but because he found a niche that all fans can relate to. Arrive, race hell, leave. What happened to the day? Uh-uh, shit, uh, what happened to the day when uniqueness was the norm in pro wrestling? Triple H, Rock, Angle, Austin, Taker, Kane, Foley, Jericho, and Eddie all occupied the same era, and all of them got over because they were either relatable, over the top, unique, or heavily respected in their craft. These new motherfuckers are so stale and common that they almost serve no purpose. Whenever I complain about missing the Attitude Era, I'm not talking about about random interference, over-sexualizing women, won't complain if that comes back, over-bleeding the invasion or purposefully being edgy to equate a response. When I go back to my old Attitude Era comparisons, I'm thinking of a time in wrestling where story and character development matter. Then again, what the fuck do I know? I'm just a happy-ass New York ninja that enjoyed the Giants beating the Brady Bunch. Fuck you, New England England Patriots, and fuck your fans. And if you don't like it, if you'd like it, fuck what you say. Sorry, I was like in the music there, LB. (laughs) <laughs> That's okay. That's all right, Sogatron. There's some pictures so, here. There are some there pictures are some here. Pictures. If you want to, if you want to kind of describe here, here what we got going on. <laughs> so there, well, there's. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> well, there's uh, some character from Mr. Krabs. Fucking, Mr. Krabs from SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> oh, he fucking knows. He fucking knows. He fucking knows. Yeah, and uh, he's wearing a scarf, and it says it's snowing underwater. Fuck logic. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. There's a uh, 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 Cookie Monster dressed up as Alistair Cookie. Uh, it says, "I got 99 cookies because a bitch ate one." <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. There's a uh, uh, football football game. Kansas City miscues. Seven drop passes. Four three and outs. Failed fake punt. Interception and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Uh, there is a picture of three men, a picture of Jesus hanging on the cross, and they are doing the YMCA thing. Blasphemy! A ticket to hell has never been funnier. And there's a picture of a woman with an amazing ass, and it says, a story. Yesterday afternoon, I was walking and holding hands with my girlfriend. I let go of her hand to get my phone and take this picture. She immediately slapped me in the face and wouldn't talk to me the rest of the day, but let's be honest. It's not every day you see a fucking dog driving a car down the street. And if you look in the background, there is indeed a dog driving a car. There it is. <laughs> wow. Fantastic. Wow. Best emails ever. Yes. Best emails ever. That's uh, why he has one billion. That's why he has one billion points. One billion and points. And I believe that is last as any snuck in here because I know everybody emails exactly when we start the show here. No. Uh, or so. Um, good stuff, good stuff, guys. Thanks a lot. So, no, yeah, well, you, well, Chachi, you mentioned points. Now, there's a yes. new, yeah, go get yourself the board. Okay. We'll mute you while I go get up and go take care of that. So, and mute Russell fan, too. So. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, he's been muted this whole time, actually. Okay. Whoops. <laughs> so, um, I mean, if you guys didn't see, uh, there, we kind of quietly started the, uh, the WMS, uh, the, uh, yeah, pull it out wide so you can kind of, you, do you have a pointer or something? <laughs> Um, we, we, we quietly, quietly started the, uh, Sorgatron Media Leftovers, and I believe this is the point where, uh, last week, and you can find this on YouTube, I believe, um, we'll, we'll start linking that here shortly, um, but, uh, uh, Chachi had this imaginary vision of what yes. the other side of the studio looks like, uh, including a point board, and the point board is precisely what, uh, he's decided to, to <laughs> make, finally. Yeah. So, uh, here you go. So what's, what's up, Chachi? So it, it, it's right where I said it was. Mm-hmm. So if you bring that up, and it's hard to read, but it's the uh, the points board. Okay. And I've already hurt some feelings on this. Apparently you um, have. Russell, Russell Bitch is extremely, <laughs> extremely upset that, number one, apparently I didn't get his name wrong. 
or didn't get his name right. Okay. Like I, I guess I don't know his name. <laughs> I, I don't know how to spell it. But no he's at name. he's at negative oh. uh, thirty gazillion points, and he's not happy with that. That's you know what, and you know what, that's fine. That's fine. I'll work my way up. All right, now stop interrupting me so I can finish. <laughs> now there's logic behind the starting points for mo- behind the starting points for most of these. Um, and I discussed this with Louis Lunchbox before the show started, but uh, Sorg, Lunchbox, and myself all started with 80 billion points because we've been here the longest. Originally, it was 14 billion because we're hosts and we've been on the couch. Um, but LB pointed out that we've been here forever, so <laughs> it got bumped up to 80 billion. Uh, Riz and AJ... Uh, you guys started. <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Is Bobby spelled with I E or a Y? It's a Y because I E is a girl's it's, name. It's yeah, no, no, it's Y. Y. It's a really funny looking Y, though. Yeah, I know. I screwed it up. <laughs> it is a Y. I almost wrote that, a Z for some reason. Bob Z. Yeah, I don't know. I almost wrote a Z. Bob F J Town. But um, it looks like the Y has scoliosis. Uh, Riz and AJ started with 14 billion points because they've been on the couch. And Wheels and Bobby started with 7 billion points because they've hosted the show, but not been on the couch. Um, Russell Fan, you started at negative 30 gazillion because you do the indie minute and it's never a minute. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Sonic Screwjob, your points from last week carried over, so you have 15,034. Uh, your Crafts Week and Tech Book. Techwood, we haven't exactly pointed awarded you points yet. I'm unsure where to put you. Um, Juggalo Jamie started with 20 gazillion because Sorg said so. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Are you, are you with that, LB? Um, um, I completely agree. Yes. Um, oh, okay, so Sorg makes decisions on this point. Okay. Uh, Jamie, <laughs> Jamie, Juggalo Jamie starts with uh, 20 gazillion because Sorg said so. Uh, Freaky, you start with negative 42 because you yell at us for no reason in emails and uh, half the time you for that too. half the time you don't make sense and it's still funny. But 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 he makes you laugh. Yeah, but it makes me laugh. So it's negative, but it's not that negative. It's not it's not a lot to get out of there. Yeah. Um, he's gonna listen to this two months later and then yell at you like I know. he did with me. I know. No, no, the thing is he's gonna yell at me because he thinks Chachi's <laughs> voice is actually my voice. Yes, it's gonna be amazing. <laughs> and then uh Wolf um well he's the wolf. So he starts at one billion. And then Missy uh, you sleep with Sorg, and deal with, he- his, Whoa. with deal with his stuff. So you start at forty billion points. <laughs> that was a bad time to drink. That was a horrible time to drink. Oh. So there is a points board. Um, this is a deduction based system. Where the where the fuck is so Mike? So here's here's a okay, question. Okay, Mad Mike is not on the board for this reason. Uh, as as I discussed last week in leftovers, um. Once a person leaves the show for, for be it whatever reason they have to leave the show, they are no longer on the, the scoreboard. They get moved to the Hall of Fame. Be it death or job. Yes, be it death <laughs> or job. They get moved from, they automatically receive 40 billion lifetime points and they get moved to the Hall of Fame board. Okay. And so and that's the Hall more, of Fame board is? It's over there. It's a list of uh, everyone that's no longer on the show. Really? Yes. Really? Yeah. You can't see it. I can't see it from here. Yeah, it's not up yet. Nope. But um yeah. That's why he's not there. He okay. got he got he received forty billion lifetime points and he's now in the Hall of Fame. Okay, well there you go. I guess now when we wildly discuss uh you get points, now we can put them on the board. Yes. Here's here's my question. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't have a camera on you anymore. That's, that's uh, yeah, fine. I'll put it back. <laughs> no, it's it's fine. It's fine, I don't need a camera. My question is, I have 40 billion points at this, at this point in time. Yes. So, the lifetime points, do they sleep with Sorg too? No. Whoa. Your points can go up. Oh, okay. Theirs can't. Alright. There was, there was that one time when uh, Chad the Shad, and they were some heavy drinking and a lot of spooning. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if that counts. No comment. No comment. Sorg never told me about this. No comment. No comment. Nope, that's still the board. Yes. There we go. Well, let's make it time for the Indie Minute. 
All right. All right, Russell fan. We're tiny. Russell fan. Oh, everyone is shouting. Russell fan. Loud noises. If you do this in under a minute, I'll deduct 10 gazillion points. So, can we get a timer on like the bottom we, left we of have, the screen or something? We can work on that. <laughs> I not, got one right here. Not right now. No, I, right, don't I need your timer. I need. Don't trust it. No, I do. No, well, of course. One, one, <laughs> two, three, go. So, this Sunday, I will be going to Anarchy Championship Wrestling's event. The show goes on in Live Oak, Texas. So, come check me out there. The main event will be uh, ACH defending the heavyweight championship <laughs> against Darren Childs and Sean Vex. There will be a tribute match to Cameron Bates, who sadly passed away a couple months ago, when uh, Mike Dell returns to take on J- Jacob Pliskin. Mia Yim will be returning to ACW after, uh, I guess, breaking Allison Kay's nose in AIW. So she'll come off with a little bit of steam. I will be there. If you want to check them out, go to AnarchyChampionshipWrestling.com to get tickets. And that is your ending minute for this week. Excellent. Wow. wow. You know, I feel kind of gypped. Uh, that was actually only, that, only that an was indie gypped. half minute. Yeah. That, that, oh, oh, don't tell me that was gypped. That is bullshit, okay? <laughs> it was under a minute. Give me my points. Uh, it was it was an indie half minute. I don't know. What's the, what's I'll give the, you half the points. <laughs> what do no, we have no, there, Chach? Oh, are we going over? We're going over the board, going guys. The board. Over to the board. Aaron, the wrestle fan gets. I feel we like we just did. We just either. make a game show out of this podcast. Is that what just happened? He just uh, negative twenty gazillion points. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> and he's moving on up in the world, folks. Congratulations, <laughs> wrestle fan. But hey, that's not all the stuff going on this week. Oh. Uh, I know there's some uh, stuff going on here locally, of course. Uh, the the first big news that we have, I'm trying to get them up here. Uh, NWA East, also known as PWX, here locally uh, in the Pittsburgh area. Uh, really interesting. They're, they they popped up this uh, fan appreciation night out of nowhere. <laughs> Uh, and apparently you're getting some TV time in Japan. Uh, mm-hmm. I've been trying to follow the story and figure out exactly what's going on here, but apparently, yeah, they're going to they're gonna be shooting uh, for Fuji Television over in Japan, um, and, uh, and I'm being invaded here. Uh, <laughs> and so, yeah, so we're, they're going to be for Fuji Television over in Japan, and I, I guess only one match is actually being filmed for it. So uh, go check that out, nwaeast.com. I'm, I'm kind of curious to see where that goes from there. Also, RWA, uh, of course, uh, is not loading down here for some reason. Uh, RBA, RWALive.com. Uh, go check them out there down West Newton. Uh, Shane Douglas is going to be part of that show down there. And uh, that is, of course, going to be a Sorgatron Media production with Chachi and I down there uh, behind cameras and boards and and Missy will be there and all that kind of stuff. Oh, they've updated here. Yeah, there's a little bit of info there still loading. Uh, on my slower computer uh, there's a franchise and everything and of course uh, I, I'm wondering if there'll be some more news about the uh, pro wrestling versus zombies uh, movie that's going on so keep an eye on that uh, otherwise uh, that's all I got here in the indie minute what do we do next guys we go to, I don't know <laughs> I don't know let's go check out what's going on on WMS gold and we'll be right back with remember when uh, in honor of uh, Mr. Jamie, he should stay at the gazillion. So, <laughs> I think the highest you can go is like a trillion. Running this I, I'm back. I'm back. And here's what happened. Here's an update on the scoreboard. I uh, deducted ten gazillion points from WrestleFan no, and no. gave myself ten billion. Really writing these down. Sorg. Sorg. Yes. Sorg. Just say remember when again and then pause. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, hot dog? It's DJ Lunchbox back with the Wrestling Mayhem Show. It is the VD edition of the Wrestling Mayhem Show. That's right. It is the Itchy Cock and Ball Sack edition of the Wrestling Mayhem Show um, annual. And I would like to take you back in time just a little bit uh, in a little segment we like to call Remember When? I don't remember what year it was. I'll be honest with you. Um, Or day. Or event, even. Okay? Um, I used to get... 
WWF magazine back before the logo was all scratchy, um, back when it was a big fucking solid silver and gold thing. Um, and it was awesome. It was absolutely fantastic. So I was a little kid and I loved it. And I used to hang posters on my wall and it was super great. I remember, uh, I had to go to the doctor's office one time and I was bringing the WWF magazine. I guess it was the pediatrician back then. So I was a little kid. Um, and I, I brought my WWF magazine with me and Bret Hart had just won the title and he was on the cover and he was holding it up and this shoulder was like fucking huge. And I remember me being a kid and loving wrestling. <laughs> um, uh, loving wrestling as much as I did, uh, I uh, I actually showed it to the dog and I said, "What's wrong with his shoulder? Why is it so big? And is it hurt? He just got out of a match. You know, wrestling was real back then." Um, the doctor said, uh, "He seems fine." Uh, indulging the small child that I was at the time, uh, it was great then, and it was great when I got older because they like to publish a lot of divas stuff and. Frankly, uh, they were publishing Diva stuff right around the time I really liked jerking off. <coughs> so um, well, that was uh, uh, that was the time. Now I can't. I don't really read this magazine anymore. We went away for a while. It came back. It was a featured segment here on the show. Uh, but it was. It didn't really capture the goodness that it used to back in the day. Um, uh, and that's it. That's it. WWF magazine used to be good. That is the point of this week's segment of Remember When. So, uh, when you say around the time that you used to like to jerk off, you mean yesterday? Uh, that too. That too. I mean, I, I'm sorry, when I was really, like, first getting <laughs> Your headset is just... <laughs> it's it was headset. good. It was good problems. Just, yeah, you know, I, I, I also had a, a subscription for about a year to WWF Magazine. And um, I showed the Elizabeth cover. I think that was like one of them from that year. Now, I remember when they used to use it for a bit of storyline. Um, like, does anybody remember about around WrestleMania 8 when there was the pictures of Ric Flair with Elizabeth? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And they published them. Oh, my God, it's such a scandal. And they showed them in the in WWF magazine and everything. And then they found out, no, they were just Photoshop jobs or whatever it was back then. And they were like really like Randy Savage. And they pointed out, look, there's a there's a there's a copy of Survivor Series from this year. And that's impossible. You know, that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. I mean, that was the good stuff. That was good. The stuff. Uh, there you was know. also um, there was a column called The Bite with Vic Viper. Um, <laughs> oh, and later on, it became Viper. The Bite with Vince Russo. Um, and then it was over. <laughs> Those were the good days. Those are the good yeah. days. And actually, here this is actually from about the year that I was uh, I was into it um, because there was the whole what's going on with WrestleMania. You know, there was uh, nice. yeah. The, the, this is this is the year. And uh, those. Shit. But didn't didn't did anybody ever pick up Pro Wrestling Illustrated back in the day too? Like, was that part of anybody's childhood here? I. I, I... I got the Pro Wrestling Illustrated with the cover torn off because my neighbor <laughs> worked at uh, a grocery store and he stocked magazines. Yeah. And to get rid of them, they had to rip the covers off for some reason. Mm-hmm. And I have like all these issues with like the cover ripped off. <laughs> so awesome. I didn't know who was on the cover that month. You know, the, the big thing, because I, 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 you know, outside of just like WWF Magazine and everything, my local grocery store would have. Um, a lot of what I picked up uh, uh, print-wise was based on what my local grocery store did. Because they would... Comic books. What did I read was like the four comic books carried. One Superman title, one Batman title, one X-Men, one Spider-Man. That, well, it was horrible when they had crossovers. Um, but they would always carry the programs for the big shows. Like WrestleMania, Survivor yeah, Series, yeah. Royal Rumble. Oh, like yeah. around 90, 91, 92, I have like a bunch of those. Like I, I still remember, uh, I think I was sick. And my dad brought me home the uh, copy of the Survivor Series. Uh, ninety. I want to say it was 91, the one where Undertaker versus Hogan, when they started doing singles matches, it was kind of bullshit. Um, I mean, that, that's like that's like one of my memories of, of, of those magazines. And they're always fucking wrong because they, they printed those so far in advance. And by the time they got to the show, there was an injury or something and the teams were completely wrong. And then or by the time I finally they were I never I could we didn't have cable. I didn't get the pay-per-views. So I would always get the VHS. What? Three months down the line when it was finally released. <laughs> and so that's that's how I got my WrestleManias. That's how I got all that stuff. And I rented the shit out of those tapes um, so many times. Uh, but yeah, yeah. So thank you very much, LB, for that. Remember when? 
Now let's uh, toss it to Mad Mike with his minute of mayhem. Happy Greg the Hammer Valentine's Day, guys. It's Mad Mike here once again with your minute of mayhem. Now, as we all know, the Elimination Chamber is the Sunday. And, um, it's going to be interesting. I, I think this is probably the least exciting Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, I mean, set of matches that we've had since they started doing this right before Mania. Because, does anyone really think that our WrestleMania main events aren't going to be Sheamus vs. Daniel Bryan and... Jericho vs. Punk for the titles. Um, I don't really know. I don't. I don't see like Randy Orton. I guess could win the world title, but Randy Orton and Sheamus. We've had that before. It's not good, and they're both faces. Th that that wouldn't really benefit anyone. And anyone else winning that WWE Championship match at Chamber besides Jericho really doesn't make any sense. I mean, the only way they could kind of throw a wrench into that is to have Sheamus challenge Jericho. I guess. I mean, I don't know. Um, but as far as last night's Raw goes, it was a much better show. Probably because they actually had that thing um, wrestling. Yeah, uh, they had a lot of that, which was good. Um, except for, you know, Orton Spotch on the RKO. I don't know how you go to hit a move and then, then don't take it yourself. But the DDT off the top rope was really good. Um, and as far as the end, Zack Ryder's bump? Holy fuck did that look bad. Uh, that looked worse than what happened to Jesse Sorensen. Honestly. And I know Jesse Sorensen, uh, you know... Say what you will about TNA. It sucks what happened to him, but um, from what I've heard, he's getting better. He's starting to regain feeling in his arms and legs. Excellent thing. Excellent. Very, very serious. Um, you know, I don't personally like Jesse Sorensen's gimmick or anything, but his matches have always been good, and I hope he gets well soon. And, you know, I mean, guys have come back from broken necks before and have been fine, so. Hopefully, you know, everything's fine with him. Um, but back to the bump rider took. I mean, I haven't heard anything health-wise about him, but that looked really bad. I mean, when, when Mick Foley tweets about how bad a bump looks, when Joey Styles says it's the worst bump he's seen in EC, since ECW, that's a um, pretty significant bump, and I hope Ryder's okay, too. Um, but yeah, the ambience match... It's going to be interesting. I don't really like ambulances matches. I thought they've been doing last man standings on house shows, and I thought that's where we were going with this. But I think that's might that might actually be where we're going with Triple H and Taker. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for me this week, guys. Uh, take care. Clamp your wheelchair. Woo, woo, woo. You know it, broskies. Okay. So thanks, Mike, for the minute of mayhem. Uh, Elimination Chamber. I I can't say I'm unexcited for it. Um, uh, you, you definitely have the raw one. Looks like it's going to be the most fun out of the two, though. Yeah. I mean, it, it definitely seems like. I mean, there's always the one that's kind of the lamer looking one. Uh, it's yeah. usually SmackDown. Well, the SmackDown has one factor in it that makes yeah. it the lamest one. Hmm. Cully. You're the great Cully. Yeah, I was just like, oh. He can't oh, bend his knees. I can't. Well, I don't even yeah. know why he's in there. He he's in there. To, uh, he's in our big guy to replace what was there with uh, Mark Henry when he got hurt. So that's yeah. what that is. Um, hey, and that stinks. And uh, hopefully, it pulled a good bit out of it. I mean, still, you got Big Show, you got Orton, you got Daniel Bryan. Um, really, it just comes down to yeah, but Kali's in it. Um, but other than that, and uh, but Raw Raw is great because it's the workhorses of Raw. And I think they're going to do a lot of fun things in there. I, I that that's going to be our main event. Uh, as far as who he picks to win, my I, my thought is CM Punk retains. Uh, Daniel Bryan does it. And so, I actually I have a, I have to disagree with you there. Okay. I, I don't think it's going to be Y two J and and uh, Punk for the belt. I think somehow 
why uh, Jericho is going to get eliminated for, like before. Well, he's last, but but he's going to get eliminated before Punk, mm-hmm. but then cost Punk the championship. Okay, okay. So so Punk, you and that's kind of my alternate and, idea is like yeah. Punk Punk loses it and uh, Punk loses it and and they just have a side thing. And somebody else yeah. does the belt, yeah. which but I don't know. Who, but but who, would, who else could it be? I mean, we have Art Truth, Kofi, and Dolph Ziggler. Dolph, really? They're going to give the Dolph Ziggler going into WrestleMania mm. after he lost to Art Truth on, on Monday? I, I don't think I, I'm not taking that as a sign that he lost Art th- Truth on Monday. Is, uh, CM Punk versus Jericho. Yeah, I, I'm thinking it goes to one of those guys, and it's for the belt. Um, if there was anybody else, if there was a Randy Orton or a John Cena in there, I could see them getting the belt, and then those guys go off and do their feud. Um, and, and, uh, as far as the SmackDown one goes, depending on how they're feeling about the Brian, Daniel Bryan thing, they could drop it to, uh, they could drop it to like Orton cause he's safe at this point. Orton, yeah. Or show, you know, or, or yeah. I mean, not Kali. I'd love, I'd love to see, I, it, it is kind of a long shot, but in that case, I'd love to see him give it to Barrett. Barrett. That's, that's what right. I think. That's right. Yeah. That could just, to see, just to let him run with it, and, and like maybe maybe just have him lose it again at WrestleMania. But I mean, just to give him sort of something because he's been busting his ass over on SmackDown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That could Wade, be Wade Barrett is absolutely one of the best things going right now. Mm-hmm. I would love to Wade see Barrett. a Sheamus Wade Barrett feud. And aside that from that, uh, ambulance match. I'm really intrigued at what they're doing with the Cena thing. It, it keeps going. I know there's a really bad acting from Eve. Uh, and it looks like a miscue on that ambulance last night. With, with Worst that. kidnapping ever last Worst night. Worst kidnapping ever, yes. I was but, just waiting for them to uh, protect Bayside from an oil leak. Yeah, that's right. That's the the Save by the Bell aspects of it was tremendous. Save by the Bell. Um, but the ambulance match, I think, will be interesting, and we'll see where it goes from there. Uh, Beth Phoenix versus Tamina could be fun. Excited. I, I think I'm excited for that one. And. Uh, uh, I mean that could. I mean that's just that's just holding holding until karma comes back again. So, but I don't know. I'm looking forward to Elimination Chamber. I'm excited about this. It's the whole WrestleMania build up time. I'm considering going out to Fox and Hound or you know, double checking to make sure BW3 really did cancel their pay per views. Uh, <laughs> just to be sure. Just to be safe because I mean it's not like I read that on BW3's website. It was just on all the dirt sheets as a line item, no source. So you got to go double check on that stuff. Um, but I think I definitely want to get out and see that this Sunday. Um, Chachi's not because he's uh, he's uh, uh, boycotting uh, Nickelback. Uh, he was doing the theme for it. Uh, I, I was like, what fight. the fuck does that have to do with this? <laughs> <laughs> We're all oh, boycotting oh, Nickelback. There's a reason. <laughs> there's a reason. Um, but yeah, no, I'm, I'm looking forward to it, and uh, I think it'll be exciting. Uh, nice, a nice wrestling weekend going on this weekend. Um, anyways, I, uh, I really wish I could see it, but unfortunately at that point I'll be driving back from Baltimore, oh, uh, to shit. Pittsburgh. So unless there's some magic way that I could watch it on my phone, um, <laughs> probably yeah. Yeah. magic way, fan. magic way. What's that? Russell fan. You're going to be pretty busy that night, right? Mm. Isn't that, that the that night, night of college prom? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm going to be going to college prom. This is a real thing, right? Uh, not really, but I think, it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's awesome just that Bobby says it. He's going to Wouldn't you mom. shit if it was like an actual real thing and you just didn't know? <laughs> it yeah, is I actually. would. And I'd be praising, <laughs> praising the mystical god that is Bobby F. J. Town for coming up with college prom and he, me not knowing about he's it. He's very worldly. He's very, <laughs> very, very worldly. There's, in in college, years. they're called formals, and the girls get way more drunk than in high school wrestle fan. He travels by flood. Well, you know, actually, <laughs> wow. Uh, actually, according to the history of prom, uh, prom first began in the elite colleges of the Northeast. What? So, mm. pr- all proms college originally prom. were college proms, according to prettyforprom.com. They uh, do exist. <laughs> <laughs> so, now you know. Now you know. Um, That's the battle. Go Joe. Jinx. Oh. Uh, so Raw last night was a bit better, wasn't it? Uh, after the beginning. Yeah, uh, after the debate, which was for still, the first time which was, which ever. Was still fun. I agree with I, I agree with Riz. Yeah. Uh, for the first time ever, mm-hmm. I have never been happier to see John Laurinaitis. 
<laughs> because the one thing on the face of the planet that was not more interesting than that man was that debate. <laughs> You have a debate amongst the Elimination Chamber people. They're all scrunched in there. <laughs> and I love CM Punk was just not buying into anything. Um, yeah. Or the parts where Dolph Ziggler was reacting to... Uh, who was who's between them? No, to our truth uh, Yeah, yeah. yeah, R-Truth. yeah R-Truth. That was, and his that was box amazing. full of spiders. Yes. And his box full <laughs> of spiders. And well, well, you mentioned it too, sorry. I gotta say, Kofi Kingston? Mm-hmm. Push him to the freaking moon. Like, it's... I, he doesn't need. It kind of proved in that promo that he doesn't really need Evan Bourne. Mm-hmm. Like, I'd I'd love to see them really do something with Kofi. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, so I mean, this, this I, I, it, it served its purpose to get me excited for the pay per view in, in the long run. Um, I, and and there was some decent matches on there too. So, um, I and what do you guys think about the under there with C, with Cena? Really pushing huh. that. Point. It was all right. They're really, I, I do see them possibly turning Cena heel, um, just based off this whole like, oh, string of bad luck stuff. But mm-hmm. they're going to turn someone heel. I don't know if it's going to be Cena, Eve, or well, Ryder. They're, they're going to turn Eve heel because you know everybody likes a whore, but nobody likes a whore. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, my thing, my thing with the whole thing was like. They did the whole scene where Ryder caught Cena and Eve making out or whatever. Cena goes to the ring and he doesn't mention the whole he, – he mentions it for maybe one second. Then he's like – he turns it into I'm going to be who I'm going to be and then tries to hype his match with a rock. Mm-hmm. Like I, I didn't understand. Like uh, I, if I was Zack Ryder, I'd be – and he was kind of. I was, I'd be like, uh, hello? Like you just – did the thing with the yeah and i i don't like you right now but cena was didn't no way i liked him more because he made out with her yeah no, 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 really? but i mean yeah look that I, turn I know, zach I mean, rider heel that's what i want to see thank you i want to see a heel zach rider not wasn't this. Zack Ryder a heel when he started? Yeah, he, yeah. Was. Yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He was an edgehead. Yeah, but no, no oh, yeah. zach rider as Shit. but no zach rider as zach rider the broski was a heel too yeah, when he started, yeah, he was yeah, kind of he more wasn't of a as popular. Here. No, no, he wasn't. Now, <laughs> now he's super popular. So now's the time to have him do a heel turn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> now Listen, he's super if, popular. If the guys, so if the guys on Jersey Shore are anything, they're fucking heels. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know <laughs> though, we have but he's the, but he's the lovable the island island guy though. The the he, he's not from that Jersey Shore asshole side. Yeah. He's from the Long Island nice guy side. Yeah. And I don't know much about people it's from Long even, Island. That isn't even Jersey, so. Because the only person I met from Long Island was Mick Foley, and he's a nice guy. Yeah. Mick <laughs> That's we are, we already He have does wish you a nice day all the time. He does. We, are, <laughs> we, are, we already have a heel Zack Ryder, and that's Robbie E., and nobody likes Robbie E. Well, there you go. But it, I mean, he's a ripoff, you know? Although, you know, a, yeah, a, a heel, a a heel too, rider too. could be interesting. Well, you know, he, he still made it his own, I think, uh, more than anything. Robbie E is, is both ripping off uh, Jersey, Jersey Shore and Zack Ryder at this point. Uh, there's no originality with any of that stuff. Zack Ryder is ripping off Jersey Shore at this point. But, but, I, but he's turned it into his own thing. I think yeah, it's he's, not really Zach Jersey Ryder. Shore. Zach Ryder isn't just a ripoff of Jersey Shore at this point. He has his own character. He's developed it over the past year on his own fucking YouTube channel. Um, mm-hmm. But and that's but, why he's so popular today. But the heel stuff kind of con- in- interests me because if you've watched the recent episodes, uh, Kurt Hawkins starts popping up, and yeah. you know this oh, whole "you picked the wrong major brother" uh, kind of stuff. I wonder if they do turn Ryder heel. And and I believe Hawkins and uh, Tyler Wax have been doing some stuff online as well with oh, YouTube, YouTube channels. Whoa, what kind of stuff? They've been making cartoons where they do the voiceovers over a cell phone. Is that what they've been doing? Yeah. Well, they're still Sounds doing pretty something. Sexy. There you go. It's on Red Tube. <laughs> uh, we all laugh because we know what that is uncomfortably uh, uh, guys and we touch ourselves we, you, know, you know what oh. putting it in yeah, the first. spank tank um anyways uh but uh but no that could be interesting if they did that and he became part of the z true island story and it went in a direction um it wouldn't be the first i mean look at miz and morrison's old show I mean, they were heels, yeah. and it was great. It was fantastic, and, and it pushed both of them to the moon. You know, um, yeah, 
that was more run by WWE. So I'm distracted by these Valentine's Day pictures. Thank you, Lillian. Still, Gar- it's still really good though. Thank you, Lillian Garcia, for coming back. Uh-huh. Just say that. Um, well, there was, there, does anyone want to talk about the news that came from uh, TNA today? Today, what came from uh, yeah. today? Uh, apparently, Vince Russo no longer with TNA. Well, this yes, is confirmed. Was, it, confirmed. It, was confirmed it was confirmed. It was Dixie going back Carter's, and forth, though. It, no, it's mm-hmm. confirmed on Dixie Carter's Twitter. Okay, yeah, they confirmed and she it. is reliable. Well, she. Uh, it's more I'm reliable than anything. Since it's her company, I mean, yeah. come on. Yeah, yeah. I, I, if Vince McMahon was tweeting, if we knew he was actually tweeting and not believe in cranky vince he although is. i do kind of believe cranky vince so yeah, I'm, believe I'm starting vince. to believe cranky vince too yeah <laughs> i believe everything cranky vince says yes <laughs> he's speaking the truth so vince russo out lagana in right that's what well, it says well not kind of not not really in russo's spot like no uh bruce pitchard's head of head of running right now he took over for russo a little while ago okay uh lagana is now involved with impact but i'm not sure in what like i heard uh rumors he's that he's, a I know he's producing that, uh, that he's producing i heard something that he's an agent but i mean it's it, Lagana, the the rumor or the story is that lagana is somewhat involved in uh the TN- in TNA now and not just doing the whole Rinka King thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And yeah, well, there's some word about Rinka King coming to uh, to the states. Maybe uh, uh, Mac Harlan's uh, friend of the show is uh, was tweeting that earlier today, uh, and I've been watching it. I watched like two or three episodes while I was editing the show last week. I don't know Indian. <laughs> yeah, I don't know Indian, but, but I don't oddly, know Indian, but I watched the shit out of that. It's a mix of uh, like the English people are speaking English, not subtitled. I, I mean, I guess they're pretty much bilingual over there. Um, but uh, India's main language is, is English. English. Uh, the, I said that last week. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say it was but about. I would say it was about twenty percent English uh, for yeah. this. Like the 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 commentary was in. Mostly Indian, except for a random "Oh my God!" Um, yeah, well, j- well, because they have two, and they have the they have the Indian speaking announcer, and they have Jeremy Boras doing the the uh, English version, I guess. So yeah, yeah, um, which is interesting. I and I'm sure it worked for them as far as their interpretations are and everything. But still, even if you don't know everything that's going on, I mean, it's got Chavo, it's got the like you said, the Mickey James uh, uh, match Alyssa was Flash. Pretty, with Alyssa Flash was tremendous. Uh, she was going to be popping up down there if you had. Well, what I watched was the first three episodes. I look, I look back on the YouTube channel today that I was, I was watching them from, um, and they're up to like episode six. It looks yeah, like. she, she was, she was been on there uh, already. I think he started. Uh, they're doing the tag to- tag title tournament right now, which is actually pretty good. They got it's a good mix of like the mm-hmm. American teams and then a lot of like that's the goal. That was the whole goal with I guess the, like doing this program is that it, there's a lot of Indian talent that's not tapped into mm-hmm. that they wanted to like you know give a spotlight. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I know that was a lot of like they wanted to push a lot of these guys uh, because I, I mean they, I think I think the <sighs> idea is they want to build an Indian TNA. And yep. they, they have to and have it, locals in order it, to do that. And it, it clearly is TNA production. Mm-hmm. But it's, it's, it's with, better. <laughs> and it is. In, it, I don't know if it's in a soundstage or what, but it's a good crowd. <laughs> it is. It it's is. A, it's a crowd that came to see wrestling. It is. It is. But that, that that's what it is over there. You don't have – when you go to India, when you go to uh, London, when you go to these uh, Abu Dhabi that WWE just went to, um, you know, they, these guys are, are – craving the hell out of wrestling uh, you know even if or in, in orlando you know or in, in anywhere else like you get people you know you get the people that that are not craving wrestling as big the crowds aren't as big here in the states but it's way different over there even wwe goes to canada it gets crazy so right but uh but i like to see that I mean, the rock king stuff was fun I go find it on youtube there's no real you know legit way that i'm aware of to watch it here in the states but go look at there. It's uh, you know, it's good stuff. FCW also was fun to watch this last week. I found I found a source for that too. Um, Thirty five. Is that what you just changed? What? What happened? Oh, I updated the scoreboard. Okay. Can we get an update? No. <laughs> I, I'll, I'll just like throw shots to him when he goes to update it, and we'll figure out what the hell he's doing. Um, he's got, like, graphics and sound music and. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start somewhere, right? Um, but no, but TNA. Speaking of TNA, 
Um, they they had a pay per view this past week, and I uh, caught up the last couple days with both London shows and uh, and the pay per view. Um, and man, that kills your thing. And I gotta say, and I know I know, Russell fan, you you had an opinion about some of the matches, and I don't know if anybody else uh, attempted to watch this. It was a good show. It was a good show. A lot of great matches. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, they had their funky finish at the end that they always do, but it's still a good match. Um, and and that's fine. Uh, but it just didn't feel even as big as your impacts, guys. And and, and we, as I was telling you guys last night it, uh, in the in the Google Hangout, it, it, we keep talking about how TNA is missing that one little thing that that I don't know what that just doesn't feel like anything they do is big enough. Going to London made things feel big. Going to freaking Wembley Arena that had who knows how many screaming fans that, that were amazing made it look good. Um, right. But uh, they had a, a, a decent show in Orlando and it felt so small and insignificant in comparison. Yeah. But you look at the matches a- uh, on the face of them. I mean, people were chanting their heads off for Austin Aries against the local guy. And yeah. I don't even know what the hell they were chanting at the end of that for uh, for uh, uh, Impact. They, they were just chanting ridiculous shit. They said, we want it. I don't even know what the hell they were talking about uh, that, I could, that I could hear. And uh, it, I just don't get it when you like you said, sorry, when you go and you see these hot crowds in like London's and you like you get like when you see with Rinka King, and you see such a hot crowd. And you go to Impact and you see a lot of good matches on the paper uh, on the pay per view, and everyone's just sitting on their fucking hands in the Impact Zone. Exactly, exactly. It just feels small. It just it, it, there's like that 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 certain, and you'll see that in indie shows too. There's that certain threshold of people that uh, that if if you don't have that much to kind of keep themselves going, you know, uh, it, it, you'll just you'll just get to that point where where you can hear a pin drop in the in the arena, the gymnasium, whatever the hell it is. Um, and, and TNA's thing is a huge thing. Um, I've said this before on like when we were talking on Monday and and during the pay per view, uh, the match between oh, which one am I drawing a blank? Aries, Aries and Shelley. Aries and Shelley. Anywhere else, that would be the best match to watch with the crowd. Anyone would die to see that show. Am mm-hmm. I correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah. At the impact zone, it was silence for two thirds of that whole match mm-hmm. until the finish. Until they like, it's a crowd. It's a crowd that doesn't appreciate the product, and that hurts yeah. the product. And it, and it really does suck for the guys because it's like the wrestlers aren't doing anything wrong. No. You know, it's not because they're not doing anything in the ring that's not getting the crowd on their feet. It's just because everyone's so jaded. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and, and you see that when you, you, you when you see a uh, a wrestling company that that runs every month in a certain place and only have our smart marks in the crowd sitting on their hands or bashing, you know, just chanting goofy shit or throwing dildos or throwing dildos, uh, you know, it, it, it just uh, and that's why you got to get out and do do shit, you know. Yeah. Um, it, it's very rare that you can maintain that without it getting weird <laughs> like that. So I don't know. Um, well, that's TNA for you. Uh, but I, I'm interested to see what they do. Uh, uh, if they keep doing these foreign tours, my God, they keep doing impacts on these foreign tours. Please, please, TNA, yeah. keep doing that. Because uh, that, that, that's a huge help. It actually makes you show that, holy shit, somebody appreciates, appreciates you. You know? Yeah. So, other than that. Um, so, it is Valentine's Day, guys. It is VD Day. VD. Yeah. VD Day. Don't say day next to VD. Because that probably got the <laughs> VD, VD Day. <laughs> and, of course, we're getting uh, some great wrestling couple stuff with Eve and Zack Ryder and Cena. Yeah. Well, it's a great couple stuff. <laughs> yeah. What are you guys' favorite uh, uh, couples Jeez, over so. the years? That, let me tell you something about Eve and Zack Ryder and John Cena. That shit is going to end like the end of Chasing Amy. Somebody's going to suggest a threesome, and then they're all going to break up and draw separate comics. <laughs> but then that wouldn't be realistic. My favorite couple was Billy and Chuck. 
Oh yeah, <laughs> hey, that was a pretty entertaining couple. That's pretty good. That's true. Yeah. That's very and, true. And, and that's around. This is around the same era. You know who I got to give props to? Mm. Uh, Al Wilson and Don Marie. Oh, oh man. Don't yeah. tell me that wasn't entertaining. Al Snow and Head. I didn't like it. Al Snow and Head. That's a good one. What does everybody want? Eggs. <laughs> and of course, <laughs> I mean, and, and the whole uh, Lita and everybody. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Um, Lita yeah. and everybody. Yeah. Well, it was, it was Matt Lita. Hardy. Then it was Kane. And then it was Edge. Then it was the sound guy. Then it, it was, was the guy, the popcorn vendor. Then it was the dude the on the wardrobe. street show at some point. Uh, wardrobe uh, guy. Then it was college prom. <laughs> college oh. prom. <laughs> Man child. And mm. she made it was, remember made when she, she made a lot of trips to the spank tank. Then there was the guy in the 18-wheeler at the side of the show in Tampa. Then she got VD on VD Day. Remember, uh, <laughs> remember when Lily got, Lillian Garcia was called a uh, spicy uh, meatball by somebody? Was Viscera? Th- was that Viscera? Yeah, was, it was, was Viscera. Uh, yeah, that was like, yeah, wasn't yeah. it Viscera and Mark Henry were fighting over or something Sexy like that? Viscera at the time? Oh my like, gosh, May Young and Mark Henry. Henry. Yeah, young and Mark Henry, yeah. No, because that was, yeah, it was Viscera and someone Mark else. Henry and a tranny. Here's another one. Here's another one maybe you guys forgot about. How about uh, Kelly Kelly and Mike Knox? Michael yes. Q. Yeah. Knoxville. Mm-hmm. Nothing is more hilarious than spousal abuse. Hayden Reich and Michael Cole. Speaking of spousal <laughs> abuse, you can check out RWA Live for the show this weekend. What? No, trust me. There, there's... Trust yeah, me. No, there's, there's a connection. Not, that was a, there's a connection. A and, uh, and 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 it's better than you think it is. Uh, it, How yeah. about a bromance? Head cheese. Head cheese bromance. <laughs> yeah. Al Snow and Steve Blackman. That's yep. right. That was good stuff. Good uh, stuff. What else is a good relationship? Uh, Bushwhackers. There was that. The Bushwhackers. <laughs> so is the oh, Bushwhackers a bromance? There's a little bit of both. Didn't they lick each other often or something? Yeah, they yeah. lick each other's no, they heads, yeah. People. They licked other people. Yeah. Lick other people, yeah. I, I should know. The nasty boys rubbing each other, rubbing people in each other's <laughs> pits. That is a sexual that fetus is, if I've ever seen gross. one. Oh, wow. Santino <laughs> and Beth Phoenix. Oh, yeah. That, that was pretty yeah, That was good and shit. Maria. That was fun. And was Maria fun. and Tamina and... and Brian and the Bellas. Oh shit! Who was it? Who was uh, it? From the chat room, uh, Savages, Pimp Hand, and Liz. Uh, <laughs> Mickey James Trish. and um, Mickey James and Tr- Trish. Yeah, and Trish. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. I can't believe WWE we went that far. You know, oh, that was and, and, and yet, and yet, uh, edited that one portion of the WrestleMania. Wasn't it Kimono Wanalea and Francine? Kimono Wanalea. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, and no, uh, and Jula. <laughs> And yeah, Beulah. Beulah, that was it, because she was cheating oh, on Tommy, yeah, it and Tommy's Beulah. like, yeah, it who Beulah. is he, who right. is he, and she's like, it's not a he! <laughs> John Marie <laughs> and, uh, late, late 90s, that, w watching when the parents aren't, aren't home. <laughs> <laughs> right into the spank tank. Yeah, uh, uh, <laughs> wow, how does, how does, how does, like, WWE not have a best couples thing on, on Valentine's Day on their site? Because we're smarter. Okay, yeah, think they're, they're... Well, one of the couples wouldn't be on there. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, the, the guy in can, the Canada, right? Canada, wrestler that's Canada a, X. That's not a real relationship. <clears throat> or that is a real relationship, that isn't it? Yeah, who is her... Well, what, with woman? Woman. Where the woman, woman was that? <laughs> Why would you bring that up? I don't... I didn't bring it up. What? I just said that uh, other thing. What? Listen, there are plenty of couples that would not be listed by WWE.com. We do not have to get into them. Gangrel Luna Vachon. Katie Vick. Katie Vick. That's oh, another Katie one. Vick. Oh. Luna Vachon. Yeah, Gangrel. Yeah. Elizabeth Lex Luger. Oh. Oh. Oh, we don't go. talk about that. <laughs> See, wow. Chris Benoit, and that's worse. <laughs> Sable, Sable and Brock Lesnar. We're not, we're not, wait, we're not laying Mark the two together, but I'm just saying. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, <laughs> on that point, wow, Valentine's Day. Love in the wrestling. How many yeah. weddings have there been? Lots. Too many to count. 
<laughs> I gotta say the the whole relationship. We're gonna talk about relationship triangles. The one on NXT is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> With that. Uh, you said you were the only one I got a flashback to Kane's demonic head popping out of the. <laughs> <laughs> one of the funniest moments in wrestling history. Tori and Carlito. Stephanie and uh, Taker. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Jericho, <laughs> the wedding from hell. Part two, Stephanie. Uh, oh. Stacey Keebler and uh, Scott Steiner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Keebler and Steiner? Yeah, yeah, remember, remember that when I, Steiner came in, and, he, like, and it was when Stacy was with Test, and there was a feud over uh, who gets Stacy. Yeah, Sunny that in the Legion of Doom. Face. <laughs> and then they both started beating the shit out of her just for fun. Sunny and allegedly Bret Hart. Allegedly. Wow. <sighs> well, on that point, guys, uh, we'll let you go so uh, you know everybody can get their VD on. <laughs> <laughs> get it on. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what did you guys learn this week from wrestling? Let's hop it over to DJ Lunchbox. Did I learn this week in wrestling? Sorg? Yes. This week, this particular week in wrestling, what did I learn? This week? I mean, it doesn't have to be this week, but that's what we're starting with. Uh, okay, I got it. Uh, Kofi has been keeping, uh, that little flash. We've seen flashes of brilliance from Kofi before, and he and hanging on to it in his back pocket, and he is ready to whip it out. It is in his pocket. <laughs> Sorg, what did you learn? I learned that uh, Kane has his way with the women. Look at that. Yeah. Wow. That's why he has a he has the mouthpiece out of his he, mouth. Yeah, he's going to the spank tank. <laughs> Whoa. Nice grab of the hair there. Um, what did I learn this week? I learned... Um, <coughs> I learned, um, I learned that <laughs> if you're going to do a debate over the Elimination Chamber, uh, at least throw a CM Punk in there to completely trash the whole thing. Um, <laughs> that was, I mean, at least, at least that was safe. Because usually you see the podiums and you're like, oh, really? really? Uh, Who thinks diplomacy is the best thing to try to apply to something like the participants in the Elimination Chamber? Yeah. Right, one of the most violent matches of the year. Can we have a Hell in a Cell, uh, you know... A hell in a Cell Archer. Bake Sale. Yeah, Hell in a Cell Bake Sale. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Russell fan, what do you think? I learned... Uh, what do I think? Or, uh, I don't care. I think it's stupid, but I learned from wrestling this <laughs> week. Uh, I learned from wrestling this week that the smartest thing WWE could do is to push Tamina. I've always been a fan of her, and... <laughs> Uh, now, now I, I love the fact that they they renamed her as Tamina Snuka, mm-hmm. just to sort of reiterate that whole you know that whole lineage. Um, so yeah, I, I I'm actually excited for a Divas match, which is kind of weird. Excellent, excellent, Riz. What'd you learn from wrestling? I learned that I I learned why you guys hated. Are you serious? Why everyone's hating? Are you serious? Because it's because I it's had to dog. watch that. I I watched the third episode mm-hmm. for the first time, and I wanted to punch some. I wanted to punch my screen. I know, right? It's like they're trying too hard. What did it's, the Triple H puppet pop up? Yeah, the Triple H puppet did pop up. <laughs> wow! What'd you learn from Chachi plays? Uh, from Chachi plays, I learned that. Besides that Husky Harris is going to WrestleMania. <laughs> uh, I also learned that I'm better at the Royal Rumble than Dutters. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Hey, that LB. Is, L- uh, guys, that Tachi. is very true. LB, what did you learn from Tachi Plays? And we'll go to Bobby here. Dude, I learned that uh, uh, Abby Normal on Twitter is unnaturally good at Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> and Bobby, what'd you learn from wrestling this week? Uh, I learned that when Kane said "embrace the hate," he didn't mean Eve. Oh, maybe he did mean Eve. Oh. And John Cena embraced hate over and over and over again because they had to get to college prom. <laughs> oh, from the chat room, Mad Mike learned that there is nothing that will get a bigger heel turn for a largely male audience than the "just friends" line a day before Valentine's Day. Yep. Wow. And uh, uh, Shane Amazing was in the chat room is saying, uh, Tor- Tori and Carlito, 
Trish and Carlito, Trish and Jericho, Trish and Christian, Trish and Finch, Trish and TNA, Trish and Viscera, Trish and Rock, Trish and Venus, Trish and Jeff Hardy, Trish and Mickey. Wow. They Whoa. also learned that the ball so hard, motherfuckers want to find me. That shit cray, that shit cray, that shit cray. He's, <laughs> for the record, right now. <laughs> well, let's just clear something up right now. Yes. Okay. He is the only person, and I mean the only person involved with the show that is allowed to use that phrase. Ball so hard? <laughs> no. The, uh, that shit cray. I will I will pip smack any other person on the show if they use that. <laughs> Facade, was, so Facade was hitting me with that oh, the other day. I that fucking was, hate that. So annoying. Uh, it's not proper also, English. Also learned that only Cena can fuck up a kiss. Snatch the pussy Cena. That's what it is there for. <laughs> and that's, and there you go. On that it, note, hey guys, it's a Wrestling Mayhem show. Right go check out hey, chachiplays.com. It's still up, guys. There's a bunch of videos and posts going to be going up there. Check out Unsung over at pittsburghonvideo.org. It should be posted here shortly, or you can find it on the YouTube's episode 21. You got appearances by, of course, Chachi playing video games in the background. Uh, and uh, DJ Lunchbox has a spot in there, as does the Riz. Yeah, Riz is there, too. Uh, Dude, Dudders, Dudders, Dudders is in there. Uh, AJ is in there. And uh, and some good stuff. Good yeah. stuff. So go check that yeah. out, guys. Um, hey, and you can check us out over at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Follow us on Twitter at Mayhem Show. Uh, get on our Facebook, the open group and the page. And we have a lot of conversations going on there. Google Plus us uh, as well. And we have the Google Hangouts on Monday Stop nights. inviting me. I'm not inviting no, you. keep inviting him. Keep, uh, one of these days, we'll call you. Yeah, they call you, and I won't answer, bitch. <laughs> um, hey, and make sure you uh, subscribe to us, follow us, whatever the mechanism is on the YouTube, iTunes, uh, Stitcher.com app, um, and all the other places you may find us. Blip TV, leave comments, star us, uh, uh, review us, whatever else is going on there. Let us know what you think of the show. We buy the app one ninety nine on your Apple Store, your uh, no, 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 no. Android and Amazon Store, whatever devices you, those may attach to, and uh, you'll get some. Uh, Fun stuff about the point system that we were talking about earlier. Same price for two sheets on the I'm Sorg for the crew, and uh, everybody go, go love a loved one. Mayhem out. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. wait.